biggest limitations, but also the thing that I'm most excited about in terms of robotics is giving them the ability to see things and understand their environment. Our five human senses give us an amazing variety of information about the world, but it's actually pretty challenging to duplicate that in a robot. That's really the hard problem. Right now, you know, if you put on very thick glasses and mittens and you can barely see anything, you probably are still better than our robots. Chad Jenkins and his lab at Brown University do a lot of their research with a robot called the PR2. The PR2 has a number of sensing devices on it. So it has a camera array right here. The camera array features two stereo pairs. So we have one for seeing depth in a narrow field of view and one for a wide field of view. It seems pretty obvious that a robot could see with a camera and hear with a microphone, but there's more to it than that. Perceiving the shape and distance of an object is a surprisingly complicated and important problem to solve. An alternative way for you to see depth in images is to use essentially a camera with a projector display. So that projector display will come on. So that textured light, when projected onto a variety of different objects, lets you infer the depth of those objects. So you know what pattern you're expecting. And so you can see what that pattern looks like when, uh, when put on various objects. A more elegant device for doing this is the Microsoft Connect. That also projects a non-visible infrared light pattern out. And so it gives you a very nice 3D point cloud. And we use that to be able to perceive objects on tabletops. We also can use the laser scanner here, which tilts up and down. Probably least useful, but still really cool, is the forearm camera. And that forearm camera is useful for being able to do things like knowing when you've grasped something, you know, seeing what the hand is actually doing. There are lots of things that we'd like to be able to have for our robot in terms of sensing. The full complement of what humans have, that includes temperature and maybe taste, maybe smell, better understanding of its environment. But one thing that I would also say with robot sensing that makes it different is that when things are detected or recognized, they're recognized very precisely and accurately.